Situated in Mutare, Manikaland Province, Mutare Teachers College, popularly known as the Jewel of Excellence, is one of the institutions of higher learning that has contributed to the development of human capital through teacher training. Since 1956, Mutare Teachers College has over the years made great impact in producing competent, all-inclusive human capital that drives the country's education sector to higher levels. Migrating from the traditional way of only producing a teacher who is effective in a classroom, the college has aligned its curriculum with the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education, Innovation, Science and Technology Development Education 5.0, which is anchored on the National Development Strategy 1. Ably led by the principal Mr. Absalom Mutubuki, Mutare Teachers College rebranded its curriculum and is now championing innovation and industrialization to produce a teacher who is a critical thinker and productive within and outside the classroom. Our basis for all the program we are offering since 2020 is to look at um, the revised model of uh, teacher education. Uh, the new ministerial trust is a five pillar training model where we have added in there innovation and industrialization. When you have an education system that does not solve human needs, therefore the education system is not valid. So our innovation is largely aimed at um, uh, coming up with innovations that uh, address the human needs like food, like shelter, all those things. Uh, those are the things we are looking at. The college has become a one-stop shop running a high school which feeds into the teacher training college and the same facility is giving the students practical teaching experience. The new thinking at Mutare Teachers College is based on hands-on practical skills and experience. Thus, the college is formulating key priority projects to advance innovation and industrialization, according to Mr. Mtubuki. I can say we have about 13 uh, innovation uh, projects, but uh, let me confine myself to the three flagship uh, projects we have as a, as a college. The, the, the project which is the priority number one at um, Mutari Teachers and also priority number one in the Ministry for 2023 is our Juice project which is uh, wholly funded by the Ministry through PSIP, uh, ZIMDEF and uh, we are very grateful because the Minister and the Premier and their team at the Head Office if he supported us immensely in this pro project since 2020. The JUICE uh, project is a huge project because um, machinery for that was procured from China at the tune of 426,000 US dollars. And it was shipped, it arrived sometime in the uh, end of August 2022. And, uh, as we are finishing the factory, we will be waiting for the Chinese to come to and do the installation and testing. The plant that we have uh, purchased is uh, a multiplexed plant which can produce uh, fruit juice from any fruits that are available in Zimbabwe and also produces bottled water. Once we have this uh, machine set up, we will be able to produce 2,000 litres of fruit juice or 2,000 litres of bottled water per every given hour. The college has made a giant step in setting a publishing house. The institution intends to produce literature that is heritage-based and ensure that more Afrocentric literature is produced from ECD up to tertiary higher level. Uh, the number two project is the Beacon Press. We have since uh, registered the company uh, called the Beacon Press which is a publishing house. What it will do, it will be responsible for uh, publishing uh, material for academic purposes ranging from ECD to university in the different disciplines. And we think it's a complete departure from the tradition where institutions 
in a higher tertiary education largely depend uh, on literature that is uh, published the outer of our borders. And by establishing a publishing house, we are really speaking to the concept of uh, heritage-based philosophy, where we say, Despite leveraging on lecturers to drive the agenda, the publishing house is open for use to everyone. Beacon Press is a new uh, innovation at Ontario Jazz College, which intends to produce literature that is heritage based. And uh, the, the literature that we intend to, to produce is going to be authored by lecturers at Ontario College and these are the people who have got an in-depth understanding of the curriculum but of course we are not limiting uh, the, 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 the participation in the writing of books to the lecturers at Ontario College. We also accept literature that is produced by experts in other institutions of the higher learning. We also have a case particularly in tertiary education we Eurocentric literature dominates the, the curriculum. And we want that to change because we've got local people who are qualified enough to, to write books. So we want to have a situation where we are shifting from Eurocentric literature to Afrocentric literature. That takes advantage of our heritage. With the Zimbabwe being an agro-based economy, Mutare Teachers College has taken an active role in contributing to the same and ensuring that the institution is self-sustenance in producing its own food, with the excess being sold to the public. The third flagship is the agriculture. We introduced the agriculture in 2020, and since its introduction here, the response has been tremendous. And we are not looking back. We are running a, what we may call a very viable horticulture uh, project. We also do broilers, we do layers, we do piggery, we do beef breeding, we do fishery, we, we also do agriculture and mushroom production. Here we are training teachers at Mutari Teachers College. So the teacher we want, we want the teacher who can deliver in the classroom and at the same time producing goods and services for making money. Therefore now, agriculture is not only producing crops and rearing of animals. At Mutari Teachers College we have now decided to propose three uh, pillars that we think they can also assist the college and at the same time the student that we are training here they will appreciate the innovation and also the industrialization. I will start with the stock feed and pen fattening. What am, what am I saying? We are started producing our own food for our livestock. Already we have produced pig meal, a layers mesh to feed our chickens in order to reduce the cost of production to the college and also the student will appreciate that thing after completing the course they can implement uh, maybe after uh, working hours, maybe when in, in their uh, teaching fields. Mutari Teachers College is championing a number of projects with detergent paint making project and clothing already being implemented, giving students the much sought after entrepreneurial skills. Our vision in the science and mathematics department is to empower our students in such a way that when they get out of this place after their training, they will be able to get into industry, to start their own industries and create employment for themselves as well as for others so that they won't stand only for teaching but they will be producing something for the community as well as empowering themselves economically. But we have got quite a number of products here. We have got uh, two major things which are making. We have got the brick dresser here. 
also have demolish and paint. Uh, we also have polishes with pen gel, and we have got uh, dishwashing liquid and uh, toilet cleaners. The Richards College is running a clothing factory in response to Education 5.0, where there is this innovation in industrialization. And the production personnel, our staff, and the students here at college. We are into construction of corporate way and uniforms. We have supplied contracts with Verify Engineering, Gordon Peacock, uh, Mutare Teachers College High School, uh, Mutare Teachers College, and we also produced some sanitary pads for the Amaisi uh, project. Uh, the project will go a long way in imparting the entrepreneurship skills to our students and also to us as staff. Uh, by so doing, we are saying there is promotion of local culture and heritage. There is also generation of income, commercialization again of our indigenous knowledge systems and employment creation and the students and us will be self-sustainable. And as an institution, we will also benefit because we will be collecting or revenue from all those various sources of what of our industrialization. Hence, we are we find that our college will be self sustainable in terms of what of finances. At Mutare Teachers College, uh, in the food science, technology, and design section, we have embarked on a project, the bakery. We are imparting skills to learners. Uh, in fact, entrepreneurial skills are in line with Education 5.0. So we are empowering our students to be entrepreneurs and at the same time we have created employment to the students, the community, even to the lecturers because whatever they produce, they can earn a living through that. These are the students, part of the students who are being involved in the bakery where they are producing a variety of confectionaries, bread, cakes, biscuits, scones, muffins. So we are in line with Education 5.0. My project is based on big molding papers and tiles. We are doing this in order to make sure that we supply or provide these materials to the college in college projects. As we expand later on, we are going to these bricks and papers for marketing purposes. As you can see, there is another thing. So we thought it's a very good project for these bricks because currently the bricks are being imported from Iran. Mutare Teachers College has become a leading teacher education institute that guarantees Zimbabwe as a leader in the production of adaptive, innovative and creative teachers and is championing an all-inclusive education with students with various disabilities and visual impairment being part of the broader family. Education section at Mutari Teachers College, in partnership with the uh, computer science de department, developed uh, the digital braille application system. Uh, this uh, digital braille application system was in the manual format initially, but now it's now in, in, in electronic format. The way it emerges, we shall have time to you. It comes out in Braille. Before we developed the, the, the digital Braille application system, in order to form a, let the web images, we need, need several of the Braille cells. Several of these Braille cells. We would need a Braille cell for E. We would need a Braille cell for M. We need a Braille cell for E. We need a Braille cell for R. Once our preset students are equipped with the, the knowledge of Braille, they will be able to assist learners with the visual impairment in the schools. Digital Braille application system or electronic Braille application system is very useful because it produces inclusive teachers who assist learners in the schools or in ordinary schools, thereby increasing the enrollment of learners in ordinary schools. So we look at needy areas at the college. They tell us where they want computer-based solutions and we develop them for, we develop, uh, uh, for them. Uh, as we have seen, uh, the need area here was the inclusive uh, department. And 
they, they were saying they are facing challenges when teaching Braille. And then we looked at it, and their problem, we do our data collection, and we do our feasibility study, and then we develop the data. Mutare Teachers College brand has been tested, penetrated and accepted beyond country's borders with students from Namibia, Equatorial Guinea and Mozambique having passed through the institution. The college has pushed the internationalization of education and more students will be enrolled from studying member countries.